Hello, I'm Dave O'Connell with a word about the stories that are in this week's Connacht Tribune. The crisis at UHG's emergency department is in the news this week with overwork staff dealing with almost 1,000 patients since New Year's Eve. Now, the pressure on resources saw one patient left waiting outside in an ambulance for 90 minutes because there wasn't a trolley available inside. And at the other end of the equation, a 65-year-old woman who was admitted by ambulance was discharged in her dressing gown to get a bus back home to Tume. We have a couple of fascinating pieces this week on each of the world wars, the incredible story of one Galway man who ran away from home and was killed in action in Belgium 12 weeks later during World War I. It was only on Mark Lohan's death that his family even knew that he'd enlisted. And we've the story of Jack O'Sullivan who died last week. Jack was well known in Galway City from his time with the corporation, but back during World War II, he served in the Merchant Navy where he worked as a radio officer. And before his death at the age of 89, the Mayo native told of his incredible adventures on the high seas. It's the time of year for New Year resolutions and we're looking at that as well as the fact that it's also a busy time for the growing number of charity shops on our doorstep as we declutter our homes and hopefully benefit uh, others with uh, use for the things that we no longer want. We have two pages on the annual Mummers Festival in Newin, a look at the winners of this year's Golden Miles across Galway and in sport it was a week to remember for Connacht Rugby with that incredible win over their old foes Munster. We have plenty on that as well as the passing of two great Galway GAA men, the former football board chairman Pat Egan and the dual star of both Galway and Cork, a key member of our All-Ireland football winning team of 1956, Billy O'Neill. So all of that and loads more in this week's paper, which is in the shops this Thursday morning and every Thursday morning, or you can download our new Connacht Tribune app, which is available at the App Store or from Google Play.